and this is very encouraging to see. The church, not that long ago, revised the handbook and included some information about transgender members of the church. So in the section on temple recommends, who can have a temple recommend, who, who is not going to have a temple recommend, there is now a part about this for transgender individuals. So the one right after it is members who have committed a serious sin. So if you look at the, at the wording here, it is interesting and I would say a little bit surprising. And then it specifies that temple ordinances are received according to a person's biological sex at birth. So in general, the church's policy now appears to be a uh, very similar in some ways to the policy for members who are gay or lesbian, which is you, that you, you cannot have a relationship. In this case, it's you can't have surgery. You cannot dress in the manner of the gender to which you feel you belong. You certainly can't have this baptism case is that it, this is someone who has already transitioned successfully and seems to be thriving and that the church has welcomed that with baptism is interesting. Now, I, I doubt that this person would, would be allowed to have a temple recommend according to the church's uh, own standards now, or in some ways, uh, a calling. It's